The glass ball hit the floor with a loud shatter, the low thunk of fruit following mere seconds later. Aaron cursed loudly in response, gritting his teeth in frustration as he bowed his head. His knuckles went white as he carefully crouched down, a hand resting against the counter to steady himself as he felt lightly along the floor, beginning to create a pile of glass. What the hell are you doing? Aaron froze, head staying bowed as he took a breath. I knocked over the bowl. He whispered, closing his eyes. I should have known it was there. I forgot. I just wanted to clean it up before you had to. Aaron. Levi sighed, shaking his head as he moved carefully through the kitchen to stop at the other male's side. He leaned down, grabbing Aaron's arm to gently help him up. Sit on the counter. Aaron moved obediently, uncharacteristically silent, as he stared down at the floor. Levi wished he could say this wasn't normal behavior. But after the incident, Aaron's silence had become more and more common. I'll be back, he told him, brushing a hand against his cheek before turning away. Aaron nodded faintly as he went, and when Levi returned with the vacuum, he found his boyfriend still staring down at the shattered remains of the bowl. The sound of the vacuum was almost too loud after the silence, and Levi hurried to clean up the mess. He placed apples on the table, careful to check for glass before picking up the mess of a bowl. It was mere minutes before he was done. The vacuum tucked away once more as Levi went to his ever-so-silent boyfriend. Aaron, talk to me. The male in question barely acknowledged him, twitching slightly when the shorter took his hand in his own. His eyes stared unseeingly at the wall behind Levi's shoulder, distant and lacking the light Levi had fallen in love with. I can't help you if you won't talk to me, Levi murmured gently, pulling his boyfriend closer. The counter made Aaron even taller, his thighs brushing against Levi's stomach, and he had to curl forward slightly to press his face into the back of Levi's shoulder, hands digging into the other male's back as he took a shuddered breath. I'm sorry, Aaron whispered voice broken and lost. I'm sorry. It wasn't your fault, Levi answered, squeezing him gently. I moved the bowl and didn't tell you. I never liked that one anyways. It was shitty. Aaron laughed brokenly, squeezing his eyes shut, as if it made a difference. You shouldn't have to tell me, Levi. You shouldn't have to keep things exactly the same, or ask me if moving something somewhere else is okay. You shouldn't have to walk on eggshells in your own apartment. You should have your freedom. You shouldn't have to take care of me. Shut up. Levi growled harshly, gun metal eyes glowing. First of all, this is our apartment. If I move something, it affects the both of us. Second off, I want to take care of you. It's not a fucking chore, and I like doing it. Third, you're an idiot, so shut up before I make you. Aaron laughed again, the sound hitching with a soft sob. I'm sorry. He repeated, tears slipping down his cheeks. I'm so sorry. Shut up. Levi answered, his own voice slightly hoarse as he closed his eyes. Just shut the fuck up, brat. I'm the one who's sorry. Aaron shook his head, clenching at Levi like a lifeline he was. Levi, I... Levi reared back, hands moving to the taller male's face to yank him down into a fierce kiss. This isn't your fault. He crowd staring into Aaron's eyes. None of this is your fucking fault. It's going to take time to adjust, so stop being so depressed and let me fucking help you, Aaron. Levi, I just... Aaron
man's face crumbled in devastation, flicker flickering across his face like lightning. I'm scared. I know. Levi answered quietly, brushing a kiss to the skin below his boyfriend's eye. But we're going to get through this. We always do. Aaron smiled brokenly, his once brilliant eyes staring unseeingly at Levi's face, glazed over the faint white scars that had taken his sight. I love you. You know that I would understand if you wanted to leave. Shut up, answered tiredly, leaning into Aaron's chest. Just shut up. A taller male held him there, falling silent as the occasional sob took his frame, tears absent-mindedly falling from his eyes, his stupid, fucking, useless eyes. I love you too, Levi finally answered, pulling back to brush the tears away. And if you think this is going to make me leave, you're the biggest fucking idiot on the planet. You're idiots, Aaron whispered, a faint smile shining through. Yeah, Levi answered quietly, smiling ever so slightly back. Mine. He wished Aaron could have seen it.